Hello everyone. So basically in this video of Power Query, we are going to learn how to generate a date series. If you will see, I have written two dates over here and it is automatically generating these two series from here to here. And if I will update this, let's say I'm taking 1st February 2023 now and it will automatically update. If I will click on refresh and you will see it is automatically updating. Now, how we can do this in Power Query? So let's say I, uh, for a couple of minutes, I, I presume that I don't know about these kind of functions. So let's say you are new to a Power Query, then you can uh, take help of Google or you can take help of ChatGPT. I generally prefer ChatGPT. So let's say I'm opening my ChatGPT. So let's say I am typing now how to generate series in power query so it will tell you the function and you will see here we have function list dot dates now this is case sensitive language so we are going to deal with the power query with the case sensitive language now what what we need to do we need to just import our data in power query we will select our data now on the data tab, I'm going to import this data in Power Query. Now click on this tool from table and range. Now this will import your data in Power Query. Now, now your data is looking like this and you need to close this. Now, if you will see here is the starting date and here is the end date. Now, what if for a couple of moments, what I'm doing, I'm just right clicking on it and I'm drilling it down. Now you will see uh, my starting date is this one and this one. Now if I will uh, undo this, uh, I need to click on this uh, cut sign. So I'm cutting it. And if I will uh, check the second one, drill down. You will see here we have source one date. So whenever I'm looking for the first entry, it show me zero in curly brackets. And whenever I'm talking about second entry, then it will uh, show us one. And if, if I'm talking about third one, then it will show us two. Now I, I am simply copying this and cutting this. Now I'm opening my advanced editor. Now here you will see when I'm importing my data in Power Query, it has written a code over here. So whenever you are entering a second line of code, what you need to do, you need to put comma in it. Now let's say I am putting my start date. So I am not using any space. If you are using any uh, space, then what you need to do, you need to start with the hash, start double quotes, space and double quotes. Now this is the correct treatment if you are using space. So I am not using it. So instead of this whole thing, I can simply write start date. Equal. Now I have copied something. So I am pasting it over here. Now you will see start date was my first entry so i'm not writing one here i'm simply writing zero here now similarly i'm putting comma once again and now i'm writing end dates now equal and again i'm pasting this now this time so start date is this one and end date is this one now if i'm talking about list date now which is uh, preferred by chat gpt to us now i'm going to start with that so now extract date list now list dot dates so this formula is re, uh, has shown by chat gpt to us now what i need to do i need to open the parentheses now we here we have formula arguments start count as number step as duration whenever we are talking about power query then data type is very most important concern in excel we generally prefer this one but whenever we are talking about power query then we have two things start and as date now you need to be very focused about start thing and date now if you will see list date then my from where my list is going to start my list is going to start from start date. Now you will see 
start date now when i'm entering my date start date now it is looking like this uh, you will see its date hour minutes and second but i don't need this and i need to enter the date only i don't need to enter this hour second and minutes now what i need to do i need to convert the start date into a date so that uh, how we can convert that so here we have function called date from what it will do it will extract the date from any date now close it open the parentheses and close the parentheses so it will extract the date now here we have second argument that is count as number now if i'm talking about count as number so let's say again and date minus start date now here we have one more thing count as number so we need to enter number here if i'm going to subtract my end date from uh, if my if i'm going to subtract my start date from the end date then it will show the format in the date format not in the number format what we need to do we need to convert this result into a number now how we can do that here we have a function called number from what it does it's extract the numbers from any argument now what is uh, going over here so it will generate some date and it will automatically take the number from that date now here when i'm going i'm going to subtract this date from this date now what is uh, what is going to happen here so it will subtract like a uh, it will uh, show us uh, around 45 or 44 days but it will automatically by default subtract this date so what i need to do i need to add one in it so that we can get the correct answer now i am putting the comma now here is the third argument step as duration now we need to increment one step every step one now again here we need to enter a duration now for entering duration we need to refer a formula let's say here we have duration we can't enter simply one here because it is asking us duration now here if i'm talking about duration duration has four arguments uh, if you will see it is not showing to us first one is your number of days which you want to add the second one is r so i'm not adding any r comma minutes comma second now close the parentheses and here we need to close the parentheses once again now you can see no syntax error have been detected now if you will see i am simply copying this and paste this over here now instead of putting this two variables what you can do you can simply replace these two variables from this code then your power query will generate in single line of code instead of this whole thing your power query will uh, show only single line of code then what what i need to do i need to click on this done here i am causing some error i don't need to add one here i need to add one here and you will see this is the correct answer and this is the list which i'm getting if you want to convert this list into a table then you can just click on here click here transform to table it will automatically convert that list into a table but i know i don't need that what i will do i will simply close and load to so simply click on file and close and load to now it is asking me existing sheet or new sheet so i'm taking the existing one and here is the location now click okay here it is now okay now we need to change the format short date now you will see it is generating from 1st february to 15 march now if i will change anything let's say i'm taking 2024 and i'm simply refreshing it the power of uh, power query is auto refresh and you will see when i am click, uh, clicking on refresh it is automatically updating so this is the list dot date how to generate list in power query